When my father goes to funerals, he brings the dead back with him, lets them linger on skin until they crawl like lice into the valleys of his laugh lines. He feels the bite of baby's teeth burrowing into brass, feels the hands of ghost fingers pry eyes open. He can't sleep at night fearing that the next funeral will be his. This is how I know he is a dreamer, except my father dreams of tragedy that will one day fall on shoulders bent from the ravage of raising a family on ground too frozen to ever be mistaken for foundation. He dreams of daughters desiring palms less rough than his, embrace less rigid, skin less weathered from turning tools in auto shops. He remembers the dust that snuck past the white gatekeeper's mask the words he held back when he saw them smile, and wonders when loneliness started smelling like gasoline. He wonders if love plays house with the old cigarettes down at the bottom of his lungs, and although he knows better, he misses the gasp of nicotine, craves it in the worried creases of his forehead. Now he's waiting to hold love to lips, for love to push past at the right moment, he fears missing the moment just like he missed the last. Father, what does it sound like to hear your heart beat to my footsteps as I sneak back in at night? What does the silence between us taste like? How do you fall asleep to the noise of empty beds around you when my father goes to funerals? He mourns the loss of daughters to dreams he couldn't fulfill. He has no words left for the time trickling down his worn, muscled back, reminding him that he is only ever too late. So he lays head to pillow, no tears in sight, holds heart and fist for none to see, and hopes that the next funeral won't be his. Thank you.